Hello everyone. Uh, here uh, we are going to see about the what are the types of compressors. So, so we have to know about what is compressor and what are the types of compressors and what are the classifications uh, which are available in the compressors. So we are going to discuss in this topic. So myself P. Induja, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. Yes, so here of the table of content we are going to discuss about today and uh, one is introduction and why we need the compressors and what are the types of compressors and what are the classifications of compressors and uh, uh, what is the working principles of compressor and what are the applications and what are the advantage and disadvantage. So we are going to discuss these uh, topics today. Yeah, so we are going to see what is compressor and before going to know the working and advantage and disadvantage, we should know about what is compressor. So compressors are mechanical device that compresses gases. So here may be of reciprocating type or a turbo type. So, so reciprocating type compressors are used for developing high pressure ratios and whereas turbo type compressors are preferred for high volumetric ratio. So the general energy equations are applicable for both the type for uh, reciprocating or either turbo type. So here it is widely used in industries and has various applications in the compressor. So we are going to discuss about that. Yeah, so how they are different from pumps. So how the compressors are different from pumps we have to know. The major difference is compressors handles the gases and pumps handles the liquids. So most of the compressors which handles gases and pumps which that handles the liquid types. So as gases are compressible, the compressor also reduces the volume of gas and liquids are relatively incompressible. So it is used in the pump. Yeah, coming to why we need the compressor. So compressor is a main role. Uh, for uh, uh, many of the industry it is, it is used to everyday uses such as in air conditioners like car and in home uh, we are using the compressor and uh, second is home and industrial refrigeration even in refrigeration we are uh, using the compressor and hydraulic compressor for industrial machines and air compressors for industrial manufacturing. So here are the classifications of compressor. So there is different classifications of compressor. We can see the one is positive displacement and dynamic compressor. So the positive displacement is huge while comparing dynamic. So in dynamic compressor, you can see the centrifugal and axial uh, compressor. So both uh, are mixed. Uh, uh, if it is mixed, then it is known as a mixed compressor. So while coming to positive displacement the compressor, we can see the rotary and reciprocating. So rotary type compressors have different classification and reciprocating have different classification. So coming to reciprocating, you can see the diaphragm and double acting and single acting compressor. And for rotary compressor, you can see the lobe, screw, uh, liquid ring and scroll and beam. So these are all the classifications of compressors. So the positive displacement compressor, uh, so positive displacement compressors are operating by forcing a fixed volume of fluid from the inlet pressure section of the compressor into the discharge zone of the compressor. So in positive displacement, we are fixing the uh, fixed volume. So the volume will not be changed here uh, for the inlet pressures from the inlet pressure section of the compressor which is a discharge zone of the, uh, which is uh, coming to the, into the discharge of the zone of the compressor. So you can see the diagram that is a single action positive displacement pump. So here you can see the piston. Uh, so the piston is moving towards the um, cylinder and uh, the piston is uh, expanding and compressing here. So while compressing, you can see the uh, volume changes and also the pressure changes. So this is known as a positive displacement compressor. 
the reciprocating compressors are uh, also known as the mechanical uh, piston type. So three types are uh, mechanical piston types are there. One is single acting, double acting, and diaphragm type. So next one is uh, single acting compressor. Single acting compressor uh, uh, is consist of a single cylinder which only takes in and discharge fluid at one end. So you can see the fluid is discharging in one end to another end. So that will be a only one cylinder. So here also cylindrical piston method. So there is a piston and piston moves towards upward that is compression. So here no expansion is there. So while compressing that uh, uh, fluid is discharged towards one end. So here is the double acting compressor. So double acting compressor is uh, acting unit also has only one cylinder, uh, but it is piped up to take in a discharge fluid at both ends. So you can see the working method. So here the working of the uh, crank. So while the crank is rotating, the piston moves towards uh, uh, expansion and compression. So expansion is uh, uh, while pulling the piston uh, out and compression is uh, moving towards uh, uh, the cylinder. So there is a discharge pipe and there is a suction valve and delivery valve. So here the suction valve and delivery valve uh, which shows the uh, pistons moves towards uh, uh, both the directions. And uh, you can see the both the end uh, it is rotating that is double acting reciprocating pump. The intercooler and multi stage. So, in multi stage compressor, there is an intercooler. So, an intercooler is uh, nothing but uh, that is in any mechanical device which is used to cool a fluid is known as the intercool, uh, intercooler. So, this includes liquid as well as gases. So, between stages of multi stage heating process, uh, this heat exchanges that removes uh, uh, waste heat in a gas compressor. So, you can see the diagram here. Uh, so that is heat engine diagram so which has uh, so the cooling water inlet and uh, the cooling water outlet and here the compressor air inlet is available and compressor air outlet is available and there is a separator and there is a, a pressure relief valve so here the water will be passed towards the heat exchanger that is one uh, so one is a shell type another one is tube type so from that, uh, this intercooler is uh, used to cool a fluid. So here it is used to cool a fluid in a heat exchanger. So the next one is diaphragm type. So the diaphragm type compressor is a variant of the classic uh, reciprocating compressor. The compression of gas occurs by means of the flexible membrane. So instead of intake element. So here you can see the diagram for the diaphragm type. And working uh, uh, for uh, diaphragm type, you can see here. So the inlet of uh, so blue color shows the water and uh, heat shows the uh, red color. And there is a inlet and outlet part. And the working for uh, this diaphragm type, you can see in this diagram. Yeah, so next one is uh, the working of uh, heat engine. So you can see the how uh, engine uh, is working. So that is an inlet. So that is intake uh, first, uh, first stage. You can see the compressor here. That is, uh, you can see the piston also. So when the piston moves towards upward, it is known as the uh, compression. And when the piston moves towards downwards, it is known as the expansion. So when the piston moves towards downwards, the intake uh, is uh, taken. And second part is the compression. So while compressing, that uh, the piston moves towards upward. And while compressing the uh, piston, so the third part after the compression, you can get the combustion and finally the exhaust so exhaust is released in the another valve these are the these are the uh, working uh, principles of working substances of uh, compression uh, for diaphragm type and heat engine type so the advantage uh, the four advantage i have given here 
So one is oil free compression due to uh, uh, hermetic separation between gas and oil chamber. And second is the abstraction free uh, compression due to the static seals in the gas chains. And also the automatic shutdown is the, uh, taking place in case of uh, diaphragm failure and that prevent damages and uh, discharge pressures up to uh, 3000 bar. So only uh, up to 3000 bar the pressure will be discharged. Coming to the applications, so there are a few applications uh, for compressors. One is automotive industry. So in automotive industry, we are applying this uh, type of compressor and biogas plant and chemical and petrochemical industry and ship manufacturing process and also in industrial gas manufacturing process, and laboratory and research facilities and food industry also the compressor is used and hydrogen filling stations. So these are the applications. So the next one is rotary compressor. This uh, uh, rotary compressor function is uh, used to uh, fix the amount of air uh, It is uh, displaced with each revolution. So for each revolution, the compressor is, uh, gives the air. Uh, so you can see the diagram here. So the inlet is blue color and the outlet is the red color. So every single rotation, the revolution, the rotary compressor rotates and gives the output in the red color. So you can see the scroll type compressor. So at next slide, we will discuss the working principle. So you can see the scroll type that is rotational type you can see. Uh, in the diagram. So this types of compressor is a reverse uh, which operating in a reverse uh, form and it is also known as cross, cross scroll expander and can be used to generate uh, mechanical work from the expansions of fluid uh, and air also for gas. So here you can see the uh, working principle. So next slide you will show the uh, uh, video and uh, the working for a scroll type is you can see the number one and number two and number three and number four so this is the method of working so first stage the three colors that is first color which is blue one sorry green one so green one is nothing but uh, a fixed scroll and uh, blue one is compression room and third is orbiting scroll that is in brown color and center is exhaust port. So from the exhaust post, the number one working is rotate, rotation. You can see the difference. And after the second uh, uh, compression, the differences you can see. And third one and fourth one, you can see more differences. So this is the working principle. Yeah, so you can see the working model that is an animated uh, type so you can see the uh, different uh, uh, scrolling process that is called scroll type compressors that are operating in a reverse which is known as the scroll, uh, scroll uh, expander so you can see in the diagram so coming to advantage uh, for the scroll type compressors so in the absence of pistons for uh, gas compression which enables scroll compressors to reach 100% volumetric efficiency and leading to reduce the energy cost. So here in scroll type, we will not get any uh, cylindrical uh, pistons. Uh, so, so that the compression will reach that 100% efficiency and which also reduces the energy cost. So in uh, re-expansion losses uh, also uh, happen. That is, uh, that is typical features of uh, Piston stroke encountered in reciprocating models are eliminated. So here uh, the piston stroke uh, encountered or eliminated that is in reciprocating model. And in addition also the, the losses are eliminated like uh, that is valves or ports. These are all eliminated in the scroll type compressors. And since the suction and discharge valves do not exit here, and uh, here uh, scroll compressors uh, uh, is quieter in operation compared to other compressors like for example reciprocating compressor one 
the scroll type compressor is more more efficiency than the reciprocating compressors so coming to the disadvantages of scroll compressors uh, so uh, so being it is fully hermetic and uh, uh, it is biggest disadvantages of scroll compressors is that it's generally not easily repairable so it is not easily repairable this is a main disadvantage and uh, this cannot be uh, disassembled for maintenance so this is uh, one of the very disadvantages and you can see the applications uh, so so the applications is it is used uh, successfully in application involving food and fruit refrigeration industries and also for truck transportation and um, marine containers and as well as the uh, medium scale uh, air conditioning applications yeah so finally uh, we are seeing uh, liquid ring type so here this uh, liquid ring type is used as vacuum pump but can also be used as a gas compressor so this uh, liquid ring type is uh, similarly uh, like a rotary vane pump and this is the main thing is to uh, integral part of the rotor so here this liquid ring type uh, is also known as the also it is similar to the rotary vane pump so it is also also used to, to uh, pump the uh, liquid that is known as the liquid ring type so the liquid uh, liquid ring type compressors have uh, four stages one is one stage liquid ring compressor two stage liquid ring compressor and two stage liquid ring compressors for compression overloads up to 6.5 bar and 1.5 bar and two stages 3.5 bar and multi stages 11 bar so here is the liquid ring type you can see the difference between the inlet and the outlet so the inlet liquid is more uh, uh, separately and the outlet is uh, combinedly so this is known as the liquid ring type so the advantage is almost all gases and vapors are compressed even those uh, containing dust and liquid and there is only a very slight rises in the temperature of the gases in the liquid ring type and there is a high level of uh, reliability in services with a minimum of maintenance required so these are the advantages of the uh, liquid ring type and uh, so this uh, includes uh, breathing air uh, when gas boosting and recovery and explosive gas boosting and chemical process these are the applications for the liquid ring type yeah. so coming to this uh, end of the session we are uh, i hope uh, the what is compressor and uh, what are the types of compressors thank you